Assalamu alaikum my dear students hope you are fine by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIVS home school i am nasima akhtar assistant teacher of science national idol english version school morning sheet dear students today i am going to take a general science class for class 2 students dear students our today's topic is chapter 1 part 2 today we will do some exercise of this chapter let's see today's topic Students, our today's topic is chapter 1, part 2 and today we will solve uh, some exercise of this chapter. And this is our HW number 2 and here is our 2 number, lecture number will be 2. This is lecture number 2. So dear students, let's begin the class. Students, when you will watching this class, you can take your science general science book this is your general science book and today we will start from page number 12 and here is page number 12 let's start the class student here is water plant or aquatic plant some plants grow in water. They are called water plants or aquatic plants. Some of the water plants have floating leaves like water lily and lotus and some are completely submerged under water like hydrilla. Students, hydrilla is one kind of plants. They are aquatic plants and they are fully submerged under the water. Example here is water lily, water chestnut, lotus, dark weeds, water hyacinth, etc. And here is some uh, picture of water plants. There, here is water lily, lotus, water chestnut. And here is parts of plants. Plants are important part of nature. They can live on land and in water. Plants are very useful to us and we get many things from plants. Plants have different parts. Each part serves different functions that help the plants to survive. Here is main parts of plants. Here is a picture and here is the here is shown here main parts of plants. Let's see. Here is one number leaves, leaves and the uh, spelling of leaves is L-E-A-V-E-S, leaves and the two number part here is flower, this one is flower, flower spelling is F-L-O-W-E-R, flower and three number is fruits, fruit spelling is R-U-I-T, fruit and this one is stem stem spelling is T E M stem and inside the fruits here is five number per C C spelling is W E D C students now come to here this is page number 13 the leaves the leaves make food for the plants they are usually green in color the flowers the flowers turn into fruits now the fruits fruits have seeds inside them they keep the seeds safe now the stem the stem can be green or brown and can be thin or thick it holds the plant upright it carries water and minerals and food up and down between the leaf and the root it supports the branches, leaves, flowers and fruits and connect them with the roots. Now the seed, the seed grows into new plants. And here is the root. The root fixes the plant to the soil and helps the plant to take water and nutrients from the soil students here is the meaning of nutrients nutrients is food that helps to grow how plants make their food plants make their food 
they make their food in the leaf by using water sunlight and nutrients from the soil now students we will do some exercise in our previous class we have finished a number exercise today we will solve this b number and c number and here is b number fill the table for this you can see here is the information stem trees stem is hard and woody and sharp stem is medium sized woody we will write here medium sized woody spelling is m e d i u m medium sized s i z e d sized woody w o o d y woody and next hard stem is thin soft green stem we will write here thin t h i n thin soft s o f t soft green g double g r double e and green stem s t e m stem students now here is the information how long it lives tree many years they live many years we will write here many years and here we will write her 3 to 4 months 3 to 4 months example here is tree mango mango and here is sharp example here is rose next is here c number c number give an example of each one number here is wild plant example is banyan and the spelling of banyan tree is b a n y a n banyan and the two number climber climber example here is money plant money plant next here is three number aquatic plant water lily example of water aquatic plant is water lily and desert plant example here is cactus cactus spelling is c a c t u s cactus and next five number here is a thing that plants take from soil nutrient answer is nutrients students nutrient spelling is n u t r i e n t s nutrients students now we uh, will do a question answer of this chapter here is the question and answer question is how are desert plants different from aquatic plants answer is desert plants have thick and fleshy stem desert plants have thick and fleshy stem they store water in the stem because they live on dry place but aquatic plants grow in water they cannot live without water so dear students i have finished today's topic now hw this is a uh, two number hw and our hw will be exercise c from 1 to 5 and here is exercise number c this is page number 14 and here is total 5 exercise 1 to 5 you will do this hw so dear students i hope you have understood today's topic keep practice it at home and do your assign sw in your sw copy and you will submit your sw on every saturday from 8 am to 3 pm so dear students stay home and well see you again in our next class